Chomp chomp and let's add a custom attack animation to our gecko lip entity. All right, we find ourselves, uh, what is this, Groundhog Day? Yes, we do find ourselves in IntelliJ again, and we're doing the same tutorial that you might have already seen again. The tutorial was released about, I don't know, like eight hours ago, something like that. And the reason why we're redoing it is because there is a, I mean, so much simpler way that it's not even comparable. We don't need any custom attack goal. We don't need any craziness. We just need one simple thing, and that is a custom predicate over here. That is pretty much it. It is very, very simple, and we're going to do this right now. So we're going to duplicate this controller over here, and we're going to call this the attack controller. So that's the first thing, and then this is not the predicate, but the attack predicate. So attack predicate, there you go. We'll hover over this and create that method. I'm just going to move that method right here. And then in this predicate, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy over the last two lines from the normal predicate so that we have the continue and the idle animation, which we're going to change to the attack animation right here. And this is extremely important. We want should loop to be false. That's extremely important. And now comes the if statement. And the if statement is actually fairly straightforward. It's going to be this dot hand swinging and event dot get controller dot get animation state dot equals, and this is equals, if this equals to animation state stopped, then what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, play the attack animation. But before we do this, we also want to do event dot get controller dot marks, re mark needs reload. And then after playing the attack or setting the animation, we want to say this and swinging equals false. And that is it. This is all that we need to do. This comes courtesy of same different who so graciously uh, basically said, hey, listen, your, your way that you've been doing it is absolutely horrendously complicated, and this way is much easier. So first of all, all thanks goes to Same Different for pointing out that this is a much easier way of doing this, and this is basically uh, probably one of the best ways to do proper uh, animations, uh, attack animations here for our entities. So now let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, friends, us back in Minecraft, and let's just see. Let's spawn a. I mean, not a cow. I actually need a villager over here. The wow, the the spawn eggs look almost identical. I mean, when you just look at them, they're, they're not that. You know, they're quite uh, quite interesting. So if I spawn the trumper, we should be able to see once it attacks. You can see, you know, while it's chasing, only the uh, walking animation plays. But when, once it attacks, then right, right when the hit like actually hits, then the attack animation plays exactly how you'd expect it to. And that's how easy it is to add custom attack animations with Gecko Lip. Once again, great thank you to Same Different for pointing this out. Also, of course, all of the code is available to you in the description below. Get up a pause for an individual gist as well. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.